interrupt this program to bring you Blue Jeans Podcast. Everyone, this is your Hood Jeans Podcast, and I'm Lady T. And I'm Ms. 100. And this is episode 115. Yes. Brr, drum roll. That was a bad imitation of a drum roll, though. I don't know what the hell that was. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> oh, it it was. Like the I, was I was hyped, though. Oh, you was yeah. hyped, yeah. Yeah, I was hyped. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I was man. hyped. Yo, you know, we had to spice I, I, up I the intro. It. Yeah, I appreciate that. You, you know, know what I mean? Saying? You had my back. Yeah. So, um, today's episode topic is. Fake it to make it? Yes. Fake it to make it. Fake it to make it. We all know people that fake it to make it. Sometimes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What you yeah. Mean? Sometimes you, that's what you got to do. If it's necessary it. to fake it. But it depends. See, there's levels to it. We're going to get into yeah, that later. Definitely. But uh, I want to first say happy Father's Day to all my family and friends. Dad, happy Father's Day. Yes. You know. It's our day. Father, happy Father's Day. I just want to say this. Mm-hmm. Um, I would not be wishing a, a woman happy Father's Day. No, we're not doing that. We're not. We're not yeah, doing that. Doing I understand that. some women play. You know, you do a lot. Yeah, um, and we salute you. Get that on Mother's right, Day, right? Don't but get you it are twisted. Not a man. Your, your day was already Mother's Day. You already came around. It's gone. Now it was the men's. There's some really good fathers out here. I don't care what the situation is. Listen, that's your kid's father. Yes. Whether whoever, you know what I'm saying? Because. It could be the other way around too. True. So yeah. happy Father's Day. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, and shout you know out to saying? all the fathers out there, oh, yo. See, I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. Sitting okay. right here next to a awesome, magnificent co-host, best friend, awesome father. Listen, dope. Oh. Listen. Yeah. Oh I can't, wow. I can't, I can't oh. hang around no fleas here. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Can't hang around no fleas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, but, uh, man. Yeah. Thank Ooh. you. Thank yeah, you. Give your yeah, I but really you know appreciate that. You know you're a good father. You know you're a good father. I try to be. Yeah, you, you better know? be. Yeah, I ain't got no choice. Because it's not in, it's not in your DNA. Right, right. It's not in your DNA. Right you about got that. Conscious. You just can't walk away knowing you got responsibility. Nah, shooting up the club with these chicks and not walking away, not being a father or not being a child, like right. crazy. Right, right. You know what I mean? That's it's crazy. Right. I saw the pictures yesterday. You with little princess. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we get into that talking about yeah. our um, you know. Yeah, definitely. Well, you know, since we're talking about you know Father's Day, I I gotta ask. Right. What are your fondest memories of your father? Or get, one memory. If, no, if no, no. One. The fondest memories of my yeah. father is that he was a Harvard. He's a hard working man. Mm. Um, financially, you know, just all about supporting and uh, financially taking care. Okay. And just you know, no, no nonsense. It's like the world don't owe you nothing. The same way with my mom. The world don't owe you nothing. You got to get out here and work for yours and. You know, don't be out here, you know, pretty much looking for love from a man. You know, love yourself first. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And, you know, pretty much don't not, no, don't tolerate. Don't tolerate the nonsense. Not yeah. tolerate. Yeah. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And, uh, and also, you know, um, the knuck and buck. <laughs> you the knuck and buck, yeah. I think it came from the, the, the warring days. Like, you know, kicking up hey. stuff out the street, knocking teeth I mean, and... And hearts out yeah. of the chest. Like, I, I remember. It was no nonsense. It was the war days. Yeah, I remember when I first met him. <laughs> and that's, that's all he wanted to do. He talked to me for right, an hour. Right. Of, of him. He's the king. <laughs> Mr. Brooks is the <laughs> king of Nuck and Buck. You know what I'm saying? You saw After, his hands, though. His hands are like yo, four times big as mine. Like, it's crazy. He's a true OG. Oh, <laughs> yeah. OG. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yes. like you said, those war stories. Absolutely. Man, them Jones is real. I ain't, can't even mention them Jones. You know what I'm saying? No, I would never you do can't. that. You got to plead the fifth. <laughs> For <laughs> real, yo. Look, I plead the fifth. <laughs> Listen. Yo. I do not own the rights to these stories. <laughs> yo, for real. You're, I couldn't believe my yeah. dad was sitting there telling you those Man, stories. Man, like, listen. I even nodded off. They were so long, you know what I'm saying? Was and so you woke up and he still was like, Yeah, so you know when I um <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, I'm like 
Damn, yo. He didn't miss a beat. He just kept pulling no. every... Listen. And he was so elated right. when he was talking about that. He had to get up and he had to like speculate and show you and like, you know, with the hand. That's where I get talking with yeah. my hands from. You see that, right? Yeah. 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 Talking with the hands yeah. and all that. Because his stories like were so dramatic. Yes. It was like a and biggie song or something. I'm just glad he didn't grab you and like really show you. <laughs> like grab you up and be like, yeah, because you wouldn't know I broke his neck. Oh. Like, oh, dang, uh, come on, wait a minute. Oh, man. We, we feel you. We understand yeah. where you're coming from. Please don't demonstrate on me. Yeah. Don't, you know, but um, you funny with that one. Yeah. You funny with that. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the many people um, that I've dated met my dad, though. My dad is just. Yeah. He, he is pick it up. Mm, nope. And bring him back here. Matter of fact, I don't know. I was just afraid that he might knock him out. Hey, I believe he would have. So I just he would have created a reason. He would have been hallucinating, saying, "Yo, <laughs> see the way he looked at you. Yo, now nah, I'm gonna <coughs> bust his ass." You know, what I'm saying? really? Yo, what's up? Yo, you he a real OG. Crazy, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, real but, um, so we on this topic. Uh, you know, name some things about your dad. Oh man. Oh <laughs> you man. Know. Yeah. Um, I say some of the finest memories of you know. Being with my father was able to, you know, him sit me down and talk to me for hours about life. I mean, real life right. stuff. Like, I was, I could be at the age, age of 10, 10 and 11, he sitting me down for hours. I mean, talking about everything from war to the streets. Mm-hmm. You know, um, he had so much knowledge. He read so many books, and that's that was my fondest memory of him, but like, really. Um, educate me with real street knowledge and life of just history and all the jewels he used to drop. You know, he stayed mm-hmm. dropping jewels that I follow. You know, and, and jewels, aka, is knowledge, y'all. That's slang for knowledge. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's old school slang. I got to put that out there. The reason you why you say jewels is because jewels is worth something that's meaningful. Like exactly. You, just, you know, it's longevity. Mental you carry jewels. Mentally, so yeah. that's why we say jewels. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? That's what's up. Yeah, so yeah, that's my fondest memories of my that's, father. That's Due I mean, to him is the reason why I love to read books. Right, books right, right. Like you that. picked that up you know a little bit. Mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, man, I mean that's awesome. That's really awesome. That's what's needed, really. Like a lot of OGs, they used to really take their time out and talk to the young men, even if you know their their fathers wasn't around. They still took the time out to talk to the youth. It's like now it's like y'all competing with the youth. Mm-hmm. You know, some of them, yeah. not all of them. Like last night, I saw some. I was just like, "Are you serious, my man? You got a king, and you out here with some with some some skinny joints on? Yo, that ain't stopping them. Belly out to here, you got a tight ass them, shirt. Yo. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, they competing. You with can the barely number. breathe. You, I, I, yep. mean, I mean, honestly, I saw like an imaginary um, oxygen machine because you was <laughs> a couple of steps. You <laughs> don't get it twisted. They probably got the oxygen tank in the house. No, they you know what I'm saying? The car in the trunk. Yeah, on the trunk, trying to be cool though. Yeah, your yeah, days is over, my man. Yeah, just you let it washed. go. It's you nothing washed. more attractive than seeing an older man with their own style and they're trying to, mm-hmm. you know, dress like the younger guys. Let the younger yeah. guys have their style, man. You, you, yeah. you had your day. You had your moment. Let it go. Like you don't even look right, looking like you about seven months pregnant with a tight shirt, man. The belly button big as I don't know what. Yeah, out of breath. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Like, you, you trying to keep the young hair cuts with the mohawks? My that, man. Oh, he was reading my night. mind. Just about to say that. No, you about to just let it go. Yeah, nigga rocking Choking a gray in. mohawk. You got no, a whole gray I, mohawk. I, 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 I did see one old head. I was like, okay, you rocking. But, I mean, you know, it depends. Nigga was probably 71. Listen, he was sharp. He okay. was sharp. But, you know, if, if it applies... Keep Y'all hear Lady T. She but like those old heads. Let it fly. Yo. I like, Lady the, T no, like no. them old heads. No, I do. I do. I like <laughs> old heads that dress, you know, and carry yeah. themselves like that. I yeah. don't like no old head that's mm-hmm. 50 ones of, yeah, I me. Mean, I'm saying, though, and yeah, I mean, and every oh, other word is a cuss word. Like, and, and God knew they had a pants sagging. Pants sagging. Nigga, if you don't pull your pants up, you losing your teeth, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You losing what? your teeth and you got your pants sagging? You a whole fucking mess. No, that actually did happen to me one time when I was there on the wheels. I remember I told you. Oh, uh, man. The old way it was talking. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. Was up. And I, was, I had my drink. I was like, <laughs> stop. I was like. Oh, uh, you got to relax. <laughs> you got to relax. <laughs> you got some poly up in your pocket? Oh. <laughs> he, he probably wasn't even embarrassed, was no, he? No, he was like. 
Like that noise they make when they. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's fucking horrible. That noise was fucking horrible, yo. <laughs> well, oh man, I'm laughing, still trying to like say the noise of how when <laughs> yeah. you see it up. I mean, oh, it was crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's really crazy. I was like, did this really just happen? It, I, you know, and then you know what? You as a woman. Man, I I'm, I know you probably could write a book no, off the No, I mean, the that didn't, that didn't so tell me. I mean, just, it just was no, like, just wild, saying, though, like, All the different crazy wild stuff, how men approach you. Like, if you just wrote a book of just on how wild, the wild things that men do just to approach a woman. You I think the most, the most ignorant thing that I felt as though was, like, really ignorant and if I could have got away with it without actually getting punched or slapped back was, yo, I'm trying to F you. Huh? <laughs> well, this wasn't about no young person. Like, it just blew my mind. Like, it just like it took me a while to actually start like, speaking to this person because I'm like, why would you even feel comfortable saying something like that to me? I, I'm I, I don't carry myself like that. So why would you even feel comfortable saying something like that to me? So I kind of like blacked out a little bit, but then I came back because I was like, if I punch him or if I hit him with this this this, this chair or this bar stool, yeah. I probably, most likely I probably I got a lot to lose. I'll probably be yeah. getting locked up or you know possibly kill him. Damn. If I hit him in, you know, hit him so hard. Yeah, that you know, dude, that dude is just, used to only dealing with toots. But that's crazy though, because no, some older women like that. But you gotta be able to distinguish the ones who approach with that. Yeah. Everybody don't want to hear that. Like yeah. everybody don't want to see pics on their yeah. phone. Yeah. Leave yeah. something to the imagination. Like yeah. everything is so fast paced. Everything's so yeah. fast paced. You know, this is a microwave you era. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like Put a microwave. Put it in start. It's ready. Yeah. Let's get it on. Oh shit, I'm tired of you. I'm done. Next. Yeah. On next. Come yep. on now. It's got yeah. relax. Pace so things, right? Like. So true. But That's, before matter of fact, one more thing. I know I'm, I'm yeah. probably we were just talking about that in class today, talking about how like marriages are not long as like long lasting as they used to be. Mm. Because ma- marriages um are hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. It's not easy. True. You know, because it's like in the beginning, you're so in love. And it's like time going on. It's like, all right, I'm getting tired of you. But I still love you. I'm getting bored. Other options. But I'm married to you. I can't do this. But nowadays, it's like, I'm in love with you. We get married. I'm tired of you. Divorce. Yeah. Nothing there's is, no fight. There's no fight. It's not worked on. You, you, I mean, you rarely hear people like in our age bracket being married. For 10, 12, 13 years. It's like they was yeah. married for like three years. Yeah, I'm divorced now. What? You Dang. just got married. The egg ain't dry on the dead paper yet. Damn. Damn. So, yeah. Damn. I should. Yeah. So I should last like 13, yeah. 14 years. But, yeah. you know. I said you rarely do. Yeah. It's, you yeah. Do. You're right. But, I'm just, you know, I just told yeah, you. Yeah. Everything put is so and, easy. Everything is yeah. so accessible out here. It's like nothing is a fight no more. Like, when we talk about that chart where, you know, <laughs> like when, when women used to make you wait. Yeah, yeah, I seen that somebody posted on so- social media. Listen, yeah. you leave out the door right now. <laughs> Meet somebody driving in the street. Damn, I'm saying though, you look good. You look good too. What's up? Yep. Beat me in like two hours. Yep. It I, goes I down. witnessed it. I witnessed it. Yeah. That's why I, I mean I can't make this up if I tried. I witnessed it. So everything is so fast now. I was like, damn, you you even get a rapid yet. You even take this, you know, the free clean and get a rapid to see what's going on. You don't care. Man, listen. Everything that looks that, good that, is not meant. Like, it's not good. The, you know, that's why they got makeup. And I'm not talking about the other company. You, <laughs> you don't really know what's going on inside of a person. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Man. But, um, yeah, before we get into um, our weeks, our weeks mm-hmm. I wanted to actually shout out to our new listeners in China. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I can't pronounce the name of my the cousin. city in China. Yeah, my yeah, shout them my out. Um, Shalik, I told you she's a teacher. Oh, that's yeah. who's listening. Shalik and oh, God, her people. Yeah. Okay. Well, damn, China, That that's what's up. China. You, that, she, she can't never say, you know, you, you can't never say that she was lying listening because you know what I mean? It's showing. You see the day? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. But listen, well, <laughs> you know, shout out your peeps, your peeps out in China. Pizza or peeps. <laughs> no. <Nope>. Good one. <laughs> uh, but we thank you. We thank you out yes, there thanks, listening thanks. to us. Um, I got a shout out Worldwide. to our. Yeah, international love right there, yo. Right. Shout out to our listeners in London, Virginia, San Francisco, Maryland, Longmont, Colorado, and Canton, Michigan. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a new one I seen on the um, on this. Yeah, so mm-hmm. shout out y'all, y'all been listening to us. We yes. thanks for rocking and rolling with us weekly. 
We salute you. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Continue to support. Uh, thank you. Yep. yep. Building. Well. Yep. So you want to get into? No, I'll let you go. It's fine. Okay. Stay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, why wow, I get the? You okay. Get the That's what's go. up. That's right. Yeah. Um. And when we done, <laughs> yeah, I got you when we go out. Okay. okay. Two drink minimum. Okay. Two water bottles. That's it. Oh. <laughs> I'm a big player. I'm a big player. I got the first <laughs> one already. <laughs> I just want to see what you're <laughs> Yeah, I'm paying attention. Two water bottles. <laughs> I'm paying attention. They're like two dollars a piece of shit. Oh shape. man, I'm just you know joking. I just had to throw that in there. Yeah, she got the jokes, y'all. <laughs> but um, yeah, my week was cool. Um, I'm actually on vacation, so I'll go back to work to Thursday. That's that's what I'm talking about. You want to start bragging? Hey man, look, <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk. Stop hating. Stop hating. Yeah. Hate she my hate me, yo. She hate me, <laughs> yo. Joke, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, started um, my little short vacation or whatever. And uh, seen, I went to see the X Men Dark <laughs> Phoenix. Awesome. Yeah, I actually seen it twice. Oh, you saw um, it twice? Yeah, because. <laughs> Yeah, I went. Oh, um, went. Yeah, you know, it's all the story. It's all the story to tell. Yeah, I went twice. <laughs> um, I was supposed to go see John Wick. You ain't see John Wick yet. Didn't see it. We got there Drink too late. Somebody started yeah, with we got there too late, and the seats was already filled up. So then, um, you ain't play Devo. Nobody. Better not be sitting in my chair. Oh no, I ain't do that. This, I I ain't pre buy them. And I, then, but the only yeah. thing is just a gamble because if they would have been like, let me see your ticket, then you would be like, yeah. yeah. See, but the <laughs> thing is, it was it was Tuesday, five dollar Tuesday, oh, right, right when we right, went. Right. Oh, that's rumbling day. People, yeah, 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 it was yeah. crazy up in that yeah. joint, yo. Yeah. Like the kids is out of school now, right. so they right. was they had security. It was it was a lot going on. Yeah. Which one you so, went to? Um, studio. Um, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we ended up. I said, well, fuck it, let's you know, go Florida see. Town offers the five dollars now. Who do? Oh, uh, Movie Tavern. Yeah, Movie Tavern. They do? Yeah, I need a ride out. I, I like Movie Tavern. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's a nice ride out there and there. Yeah, that's cool. It's like a 20 minute. Well, yeah. for me, it's 20 minutes. Well, for you, yeah. 20 minutes. For you, it's what, an hour? Yeah, that's an hour. Yeah, that's like an hour. No, wait a minute. Coming here if is... If I was like, to get on like 76, Coming here is 20 minutes, right? Coming here like 25 minutes tops. Yeah, so from here yeah. to there, psh, and how you drive? So about 40... <laughs> <laughs> but I don't out there. I don't play though. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah for you. I was like this driving. Yeah, you. That's uh Montgomery County. Yeah, they don't play. Yeah, they don't play. Yeah, but um, I I don't want to sneeze out there. Yeah, yeah. You right. They pull you fuck over out there. They don't play. No, they don't. In the county, but um, yeah. So I've seen the Dark Phoenix. I liked it. I, I know awesome, a lot of people right? were saying that. You seen it? Did I see it? Oh shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Man, what? Yeah, a lot of people were saying they ain't like it. And I'm like, Listen, looking like, what the fuck? Is-? Me and the kids went. We got a little, we got a little movie ducky spot. It's only four ninety nine for the kids and five thirty four for. What I said, you better shout them out. Oh, Brandon Rum You know they built in the back out. up. I hold up. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. It's an AMC stick theater, up, right? Stick up. Yeah. <laughs> It's huh? the AMC Theater, right? No, not the, not the AMC 309. I'm talking about the Granite Run Ball. Remember they Going tore it down? Going to media, yeah. They tore it down, but they built it back up. Get the fuck out of here. Take Baltimore Pipe all the way out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going on um, towards media. Shit, and I, so and they, they got up. the movie theater out there? Yes, they had the movie theater out there. Dude, got that. I thought they tore that down, too. But it's old. It's, it's yeah. not the new one with, with the, the recliner seats. Yeah. But for the price of the tickets, and, you know, they always have specials like the bucket. They have the cylinder bucket. Yeah. Um, If you're an AMC Premier um, member... They had like five hours off, so it was twenty twenty ninety nine for the AMC premiere, but five hours off the special day was running for that day. So I would have got that buck for fifteen dollars and every time you go it's only four ninety nine for a year. Listen, listen before, y'all see how kids, Lady T just You got a budget. Up. Listen, you got a budget. If y'all want to learn how to budget <laughs> and get the best coupons, <laughs> hit Lady T up, yo. No, no, I, for no real. I ain't no problem like my sister Charlene now. Charlene. But no, you good enough. I'm, I'm you learning. Can, you she, can send some shit my way. She's teaching me. Yeah. Charlene, she's teaching me. I'm learning from her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlene. Charlene. Yeah. Yeah. Tamika. Tamika. Yeah. Charlene. yeah. yeah. Shout yeah. out her. Mm-hmm. Shout out her, yo. But um, yeah, I love the movie. I went twice and went with a side. On um, Friday, got out of work early, went there, seen Dark Things again, enjoyed it again, and um, and then um, what was it? Saturday, I went to the Spruce Harbor, John, mm-hmm. and it felt good. I did the Uber to get down there. I didn't want to drive. 
Man, listen, I was on Uber early in the day Saturday. Downtown oh, yeah. is crazy, it yo. Is crazy. And it's I was landing. like, yeah, I said, I'm not driving the back down there. Crazy the, the parking crazy. Everything crazy because they got construction everywhere in the mm-hmm. city now. I get it. You know, the city is expanding, gentrification going on, all that shit. But that, for driving wise. It's smooth to do that up in there, gentrification going on. It is yeah, what it yeah, is. It is what it you is. You know what I'm right saying? About that. Um, so, yeah, went to Spruce Harbor. That was dope. We we had a good time there. And uh, all I'm going to say about this, is you're going to spend, I mean, God damn, the funnel cake is $8. That's just a basic a funnel cake. What kind and of you, funnel cake is this? Man, listen, you could, you could, <laughs> yo. Was it two for one? No, one funnel cake. Come I on, said, man. yep, we sharing that. I'll take that. I know that's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. $8. And then that's just a regular drum. With power without power. Cause you could be like, can you shake it in my head? Luckily, it was with powder. <laughs> God damn, eight dollars plus two dollars you know powder. Come yeah. On. So That's if you want a fruit on it, that shit twelve dollars. It's crazy, but yeah. What kind of fruit? <laughs> Any kind? I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But that shit crazy, yo. That's ridiculous. It's probably fruit out of a fucking can. But um, <laughs> uh, this is actually my best highlight. I mean, this is probably some nerd shit, but uh, I bought an Echo off of Amazon. And, you know, a lot of people got vices in life, right? Wait a minute. <laughs> for $49? Uh, it was $65 on sale for um, Father's Day. Yeah. No, the because, echo, no, I'm echo, asking. The speaker job. Yeah, the little speaker. Yeah. It was, it was uh, $49.99. It went down. Oh, it went down? It went down. Oh. So you should hit me up. Damn. No, I don't know because it's a because when I went on there it's a it's a bunch of different echoes. I'm trying to tell you, so I don't know. As soon as, you, as soon as the app come up, it, it was showing me the speaker because I won't show me at the jump. Yo, but listen, right. I'm gonna show you. I'm a big kid, you know. I love gadgets. You know, the electronics, and, right. Yeah, and that's you know everybody got their vices, and that's my addiction: electronics, buying electronic devices. So not rubber dolls. What? <laughs> I just to what did you say? Rubber dolls. Oh shit! No, we ain't doing that. Uh uh-uh. uh. But, I just want uh, to throw you off. Yeah, but so with all that being said, uh, Alexa, go find me some therapy for my addiction. You know what I'm saying? Because every time you're speaking to her, you got to say, Alexa, Alexa, do this, Alexa, do that. Right. And it's really good. Man, listen, so I get it. I get into everything that it does. So, yeah. being, like, if you had a, a very, like, um, jealous type girlfriend, right? Yeah. And you hollering Alexa. Oh right? my god. I see where you're <laughs> going with this. Did you see this. what I posted on my Instagram? My was, homie was, sent me that. It was like, this is me. I said, yo, I don't go to nobody. I'm not doing none of that. Oh, the girl was coming from the ceiling. Yeah. Punching my man's man, face. That shit is hilarious. Yes, I had to watch that like 10 times. I'm not. Shout I watched it like, Ty, yeah, like, I watched it like four or five times. It was hilarious. I was just looking at that jaw like, yo, when you somebody up, comment on that. Yeah. Your girl went through your phone. And you see her coming from the ceiling, punch you in your face. Yeah, she was like, like a, oh, like a, punch, oh, we back there. You, you know what's crazy? Um, I was just looking at her. I seen somebody comment on your post, and they was like, yo, oh, maybe it was you. Or somebody else. It was like, I only had a, that type of energy. No, that was uh, my sis, uh, Tracy. Yeah. Tracy like, I said, I don't have the energy. I don't need And it. I, I was reading a comment like, damn, I feel the same way. I right. don't have the energy for that. Because here you go, you go looking for stuff, you won't find stuff. Like, exactly. here's the thing. Everybody has their own way of flirting. It may not be harmful. Like, mm-hmm. that sometimes may keep the relationship going. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what you got, but at the same time, you like, you know, I'm just going to have a little fun, but just don't go too far away. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to say, I'm very flirtatious in my mm-hmm. own little way, mm-hmm. but I won't go too far away if I'm in a relationship. Like, I know what I got, I'm not trying to jeopardize that. Mm-hmm. Because to me, being 100% committed and faithful is mm-hmm. a challenge. Like, mm-hmm. you know, because it's like, you know, you can yeah. easily do wrong. Like, you can easily do something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wrong or evil. You feel like but you're under like, the microscope. Right, exactly. But if you committed, you faithful, you know what you got, plus there's too much shit out here anyway to be, like, all over the place. Yeah. So that's, I like that challenge. Yeah. Going through somebody's phone. What you going, if you, if you have to go through somebody's phone, there's no reason why y'all should be together. If you got to constantly, yo, I think you're cheating, yo, this and that, like, you can't give a person space. That's what's going to um, drive a wedge between your relationship. Me, so I'm true. not clingy. I like to miss you. I don't like to be on the phone all day. Uh, what I'm doing, if I'm at work, I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? Or 
Mm-hmm. Today I'm going out with my girlfriends. Well, my girlfriends. Don't call my phone five, six times. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Because I wouldn't do that to you. You go out with your friends. Have fun. I see you when we link up later. Yeah. Like, I I think that's why it just took me so long to even try to, like, even settle down. Because it's like, the times have gotten worse to me. It's like, you got to be on FaceTime. You got to be texting. You got to be calling all it's the too time. too much, yo. Yo, I, and then listen. if you don't call back or yo, you messing around, just back, how you do me, you know, you cheating. What? Yo, it's, it's like everybody want this ultimate attention, right? What you happened know? to you in your childhood? And um, what it comes down to is just a lot of people is just very um needy, needy and they very uncomfortable being lonely, and that's, that's crazy because so many people that's are in relationships, serious relationships. And they still lonely. But here's the thing. You know, here's the thing. They still and feel lonely. Here's the thing. If you dealing with somebody that has those type of, you know, characteristics or those type of emotions, mm-hmm. leave them alone. I know it's not easy, but here's mm-hmm. the thing. You always gonna have problems because they not getting attention from you, so now they feel like they got attention from somebody else. You're not showing me attention, and that'd be the main thing they, they bring, they come up with or say when they get caught cheating or doing something they're supposed to do. Well, you guys are paying me no attention, mother effort. Yeah. You called me and I couldn't return your call. So now you feel as though you need to get attention from somebody else? Yeah, that's crazy. What you need to do is <laughs> just get them motherfuckers a Tinder app and and get them whatever they want. <laughs> get them somebody off Tinder or plenty of fish. Get them what they want. You got a wide selection on there. But wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not doing enough for you. Let's go find you some motherfucking psycho out there online on but a date app that but give you that up, attention. But hold up. Be careful what you want because you'll get somebody that smothers you mm-hmm. and now it's like, I can't breathe. I can't. Now they're a psycho. They're a stalker. Now, now, you know, it's too much attention. Yep. Here's the thing. If you're single, learn how to enjoy yourself. Learn how to to enjoy your company. Right? Because that's, when you're in a relationship, you break up with somebody, right? Don't jump right back into a relationship because it's like you ain't give yourself a chance to heal mm-hmm. or get over what the situation was or find out why you're not together no more. Mm-hmm. Some people get out of a relationship, automatically bring another person. But that was not always the other person. You gotta look in the mirror and say, damn, what did I do? That's what I do. Yeah. I already know my flaws. I already know my flaws. Yeah. Like, my mouth but, is crazy. But that's I the thing. A, I have a low time. I can't sit still. I gotta do. It. I don't know if it's I don't I'm not gonna sit up here and self, you know, diagnose, diagnose myself, but yeah. I can't stay still. I'm very spontaneous. I like to do things. Like I I'm I have structure. And then I was just informed by my, my, <laughs> my co-worker's family that I have a little bit of O C D. <laughs> because <laughs> don't look at don't a look little like bit. That. I have a little bit of OCD. A little bit. A little bit. You got it a lot. No, I, I don't. See, I don't have I've been lot. seen that. What? What you mean? Man, yo, I <laughs> seen it. Yo, <laughs> yo, I seen it. Yo, I ain't gonna. It's a little bit. Like, yeah, I can't, look, you, it has to be structured for me because you don't like nothing messy. Because if, and if, if it ain't, even when shit is straight, you be like, hold up, wait a minute. And then I find it, what it, it is. Yeah, right? you find out what it is. You're like, hold up, wait, Miss Stinking here. Let me go. Right. <laughs> so right. wash your shit. Listen, I'll be, you know be breaking things apart. But here's yeah. the thing. If things are messy around you, your mind is messy. Your mind is not structured. Your ah. mind is not in place. Yeah. yeah. I believe in that. And listen, yeah. that's the that's the quickest way to get out um, all the time. I'm just joking. <laughs> God damn, you better go smoke some weed. I'm Fuck that joking. all the time. I'm just joking. Shit. Yeah, no, just play um just do word puzzles. Yeah, yeah. Word puzzles. And, and play video games. And bit no, no, no. See, you messed up with that one. Card games? Card games. Something, Card games. you know, like but, hands but, on. But hands on. Always stimulating the there, mind. There was a report I read, Wait, though. Hold up, hold up. Now, I know we don't do this in the yeah. middle of the show. Yeah. But Omar and Tamar, yeah. what time is it? What we doing? What we doing? I need y'all to be what? Quiet. Oh, absolutely. And what y'all doing right now? Not being? Quiet. Okay, I'm going to need y'all to do what? Quiet. Okay, shopping. Let's go. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to get into your week. Okay, so my week wasn't as fulfilled as yours. You see it is. That's great. I'm glad you're doing yeah. more. Than, I see a difference in you. I really do because you haven't worried for a while. You know, I pick up, I, I read energy and you do. all that. And you yeah. see like you coming out your shell a little bit more. You, do. you letting some stuff go. Like you, when you yeah. let stuff go, you kind of, your glow gets brighter. You see your dumb moments. And I was yeah. telling you, 
Yeah. I, I'm, I'm seeing the old mill come back. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm glad. Like, you had me worried. I was like, I'm about to come on the show and be like, listen. <laughs> A therapy Don't session. make me laugh. <laughs> hey, y'all. This is T last episode. <laughs> oh, man. This brother lost his mind. Come uh, on the show. I'm trying to keep my energy going. Things going in my life. Yeah. You over here like. <laughs> Yo, what's going on with you, bro? You just yeah. you be on here live. You got the shades on. You be, yeah. for a while, you know, you was get it was love, but I'm glad to see yeah. you back. Yeah. I was giving you some time. I said, listen, listen, I'm about a such and such week. Yeah. If you don't get it together, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I just want to inform you all. This is late tea last week. I can't do it. I'm going through shit myself. He over here going through stuff. It ain't gonna yeah. work. It's I'm overwhelmed. But yeah. you got together. Yeah, I see you ain't right. what the hood is going on with, did you? Yeah. Look, look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, but um, because yeah, I know we did have some weeks yeah. that we wasn't drinking. You know, yeah. we drinking water, and then we was drinking. You still over here, like <laughs> looking all dumb, like yo, do we need vitamin D? Need some sun? Oh like, what, man, what's going on? Yeah. You know, like a pal, like powder. Oh shit, yo. Yeah, my glad I see yeah. coming back. The light, you know, was getting brighter. Mm-hmm. Just keep, you know, just keep shedding X's baggage. Yeah. Stuff yeah. that you don't even know that's X's baggage. Keep shedding it. Keep praying. Yeah. Keep saying, God, please keep, like, just shedding it off of me. Yeah. And, you know, you'll get better. I did it. Yeah. And I have no, you see, you know my thing. I'm the only, only child from my mom's side. Let me make that clear. Only child from my mom's side, meaning that I came up in a home and I was the only child from my mom. But I have brothers gotcha. who I love dearly. But it's a difference. So my brothers know what it means to come up in a home with siblings. I don't. Mm. So, with that being said, I'm the only child. So, it don't matter to me if I have friends or not. Yeah, because you was already conditioned. I was to already conditioned to be, be by solo myself. Anyway. So, I'm really a loner, but I love people. I love being around people. But if you don't mean me no well, I have no problem excusing you. And and no harm. It's not like, you know, I'm wishing you bad or anything like that. But I just got to keep it chucking. Yeah. Because you don't mean me no well. Yeah. That means, like, you know, in, in my presence, you the same way. with, And when I'm not around, you the same way. Yeah. Meaning, like, if somebody comes to you and say some shit about me, um, I'm going to have to excuse myself because, yo, you can't be talking about or, you know, put that person in any place. Don't ever come back to me saying what somebody said. And then the first thing I'm going to say to you was, why are you entertaining yeah, that's real shit. Why you even entertaining? Yeah. If you know me, you around me, you gonna entertain it, and then what? Y'all talking about me together? Yeah, that's corny. Because then you can always pick up on somebody's energy when they full of shit. Mm-hmm. They, you know, they nervous. They be trying to tell you the story. Why, why you even entertaining it? And I be knowing stuff about people, and I still just be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm guilt making trip. Yeah. You know, so you know, I just let people hang themselves. You may think I don't know, but I'll be acting like you know all that a lot because I can't I can't really aim my energy there. Yeah. It's like I just be like, okay. I'd be like this. Side, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the eyeball okay. emojis yeah. and shit. Yeah. 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 But um but yeah, my week was pretty pretty laid back, cool, mm-hmm. no issues. Everything was good. Um you know, but uh, what I'm faking it to make it. That's why you know the yeah. topic is gonna be so real today because shit, yeah. I don't know who not faking it to make it. Sometimes and faking it not meaning like I'm not living beyond my means. Faking to making is like I'm still keeping a smile on my face even though I'm going through shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm still smiling mm-hmm. despite the storms and all the obstacles coming my way. Yeah. So and that's faking because you really not want to smile. You just want to walk around here like this. I'm just so angry. Yeah. I really want to walk around with my hair stand on top of my head. Yeah, but that ain't healthy, you know what though. I'm saying? That ain't it's not. actually healthy. It's really not. It ain't helping nothing. It's keeping your energy low. Exactly. If your energy low, you ain't going to have energy to ever want to be positive right. or progressive right. in anything. Because it's like saying? the more things you're trying to do positive in your life, it's like more things come your way to try to knock you down. Yeah. To that's- try to stop you from your blessings. So that's why it's like it's kind of contradicting with the title of faking it to making it. Mm-hmm. But it's really you understand once we get you know into explaining which I just did about faking this and making this mm-hmm. like I want to cry instead of smiling. Yeah, I want to scream instead of being quiet. You know what I'm saying? I just want to punch a hole in the wall instead of just keeping my hands to myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's faking it. You know, and it's like I'm not talking about like I'm going out here and I'm 
you know, buying the bar, I'm, I'm here acting, you know. No, I'm not talking about that type of fake animal. That's just ridiculous. That's just stupidity. Yeah, that's just <laughs> that's foolish. That's stupidity. That's foolishness. I'm yeah. not talking about that kind of fake animal. I'm talking about just trying to keep your energy, your spirit above the flood. Yeah. You know, just counting your blessings despite of, like, it could be worse, you know. And it's like, <laughs> when, when you got one thing, it's like something else coming. When you got that, something else coming. You mm. come, it's, it's, you get hit. But when you when you do get above those high waters and you cool, it just keep you humble. Yeah. And that's why I always speak about being humble and just, you know, counting your blessings because it could be worse. Yeah. You know, but it's life, like. Sometimes you need, that's why we always talk about checking on people. Like, hey, yo, you good? Mm-hmm. How you feeling? Like, you sure you all right? You need anything? Yeah. I mean, it may not be something financial. It could be something like just a conversation and not hearing, well, why this and why that? Or somebody like, well, I told you. Who wants to hear that? Who wants to hear that? You may not be able to always yeah, go to your therapist. Or you may not shit. even have a therapist. Yeah. You may just want to vent. You know what I'm saying? To somebody that's not going to go out there and tell your business. Somebody just going to be a listener. Just be a yeah. listener. Just be, you know, a listening ear just, or like, you know, uh, something inspirational. Like, you know what? I understand what you're going through. The storm is not going to always be a storm. It's going to be a paradise in the end. Just got mm-hmm. to keep fighting through the storm. Keep your head up. Sometimes that's all you need is, you know, words of, you know, confirmed. You just mm-hmm. need something confirmed sometimes to hear mm-hmm. that, you know. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. So okay, okay. But other than that, um, we here recording on Father's Day. Yeah, you know we don't really celebrate holidays, but you know we do acknowledge some days like you know Mother's Day, Father's Day, mm. birthdays is very important to me. But any anything else, I really don't get down with because mm. I'm gonna make my own holiday up on the calendar. I don't really go by the, the uh, what do they call it, the Greek calendar. Yeah, you know I don't know who the hell made yeah, this and, holiday. And so we, I be researching who made this holiday. If I'm just sitting there like. I actually, um, you gotta be kidding me! We yeah. sit here celebrating it's, shit that. Is that? Do you even know who made, who put this in place? Yeah, who on broke for nothing? It's funny that you brought that up because for the genius and all segment, we we know some people that they invent. They just recently invented their own holiday that just recently passed. But I'm gonna wait till we get to that. Oh but, wow! Yeah. But you know, but I did want to mention. I did see a clip from Fifty talking about how it's funny how Father's Day. Like tools, like grooming products and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But it'd be like the whole world going to sell for Mother's Day. Oh yeah, you know yeah, what I'm no saying? Doubt. No it's, doubt. It's, it's not right. It's not right. It's a shame because there are some great fathers out there. Yeah, you know, but doing a thing. It's like it's kind of yeah, it's one sided. You know, sure. and then like if it's for Father's Day, the man's still paying. Like like you, damn, you couldn't damn. Even put money right. aside. For your husband or your kid's father, or whoever you with, to take them out and treat them for a day, and this person breaking their back all year, and you couldn't like go all out, get yeah. him flowers, rub his feet, <laughs> yeah. treat him like a king. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then you wonder why, like, you gotta go through somebody's phone and be jumping from the ceiling, punching somebody in their face. How about that? A man needs to be pampered too. That's all. Yeah, I'm just. Throw your arms up in the yeah, sky. Yeah, wait, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hold up. Hold right. up. Everybody know why I'm saying hold up because this is what I'm going to be saying some crazy stuff. <laughs> Yo, I'm just so, saying. So, I'm just saying. Wait, <laughs> you know. Please, be careful of the word. Listen, just get your knee pads and Yo. throw your arms up like the Why always got to be ceiling? about that? Why always got to be about hey, that? Hey, I'm just saying, though. That's something that... But that's something that you get all the time. Man, do, something, do something for a man on Father's Day that he rarely gets. That's true, but that... Hey. Like, like this. How about this? How about... Hey, I got the bill. Yeah. For the rest of the month. Yo, how hey, about you got, that? You got a paycheck. Yeah. I'm going to pay the bills this month to show my appreciation. Yeah. Hey, you know, I mean, just do something... Extraordinary, like you wouldn't do yeah. something different to blow their mind. Like, damn, have them thinking all year. Like, damn, she really, she really looked out. Yeah, but hey, you know, a woman towel on them balls, you know, that still might be something they don't get. <laughs> you know what I'm saying that still might be something that they don't get often. Because you said do something for him that he don't get often. I just asked but... you to be careful <laughs> with your word, and you still went around it doing mean... like this. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, but, um, you know, like I was on Lincoln Drive. Excuse me, y'all go upstairs. You know what I mean? I need y'all go upstairs. 
Um, this is a Jesus, and this is inside of my residence, and yeah. it's about to get crazy. Y'all about to see the light fall on the table, my glass go down, y'all got to go upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Now, y'all about to see me jump in mommy mode. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, like, 20 minutes ago, when I said something to you the first time, that's me, y'all need to be upstairs. That's what I'm talking about. You see? Yeah. Job never done. Yeah. You know? Major magic work though, but um, absolutely because yeah. you know, that, you know, yeah. how you, you see the, the sweat on my nose. <laughs> see, when I sweat on my nose, that 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 that, that means business, yeah, that means business because yeah. I'm sweating on my nose. That means yeah. that I'm like the the, the horns ready to come up, yep, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that yeah, like you said, means so business, on. yeah, but um, yeah, so we we don't get into what you blessed about, um, what you blessed about this week, I'm blessed. And I know they'll say crazy stuff like this, but I'm blessed that when I was conceived, that I, that you know they didn't you know change their mind. Mm. Yeah, However, I you got know you. what I'm saying. I'm glad. Yeah, that you're, you're glad you was. I'm glad I was old enough to be born. To be born. Yeah. And, okay. That's interesting. You know, because every, yeah. you know I could be just on another galaxy somewhere. You know, floating. I could be an alien looking down on y'all. Yeah, or you could you know, just be flushed down the sewer system. But or I could just be swallowed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just blessed to be a father. You know, shout out to all the fathers Absolutely. out there. Okay. So it's an honor to actually be a father. I think, you know. So that's what I'm blessed for this week. Absolutely. All right. So we're gonna get into this week's Genius and All segment mm-hmm. and. Coming piggybacking off of what Lady T was talking about these holidays and people can create their own holidays. Um, comedian Little Duvall and Charlemagne the God, media personality, genius and all, they create a movement, a hashtag movement. Don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Um, I should have known something was uh, behind this because I kept seeing Charlemagne saying, you know, black men don't cheat. You know, he had the different posts and, you know, be strong out there, brothers. You know, black men don't cheat. But then I seen that when it was like June 12th is going to be the official holiday for black men don't cheat. Yeah. And they released the fucking song. So I'm like, OK, I don't know whether to take them serious <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or it's y'all a, just promoting. It's a it's a, it's, just, a, it's a code. A man yeah, code. It's a it, a man it, code. That they cause Charlemagne keeps saying he's trying to change the narrative that, you know, you know, narrative out there is that black men are dogs and we always cheat. How about change the narrative that black men ain't shit? How about that? How about that? Besides you know cheating and not listen, yeah. I'm just so tired of the stamp. Like I, you know, pre a uh, couple of episodes ago, we were talking about how they, you know, stamped up black woman. Mm-hmm. Cheat shit. Every race. I'm not saying all men do, but I'm just saying every race do. Yeah. Like when they be stamping about the the black we black woman yeah. or the black. No, every race it depends on the person. Yeah, and every stop gender. Categor- stop categorizing. Yeah. A race and just say that individual. Everybody is different. Yeah, that's like saying all women are whores, all men are whores. Mm-hmm. It's, it depends on the person. Yeah, it depends on the person. Like, like you it said, every, on the color or the race or it depends gender. On the person. Yeah, you could be purple. You yeah. could be green. It don't matter. It's true. And back in the day, it was it was the brown man, red man, and remember back in the day, yellow man, yellow man, yeah. Hey, come on now! It, it's, it's not a race; it's a person. It depends on the person. Yeah, person plays a thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna tell you this though. Did you hear the song? Man, I ain't black men song. don't cheat. You hear it? Man, I don't. Want it's to do terrible. That. Charlemagne on there rapping. But here's the thing: I feel like a broken record when I'm saying about all this shit that's going on, where these cops are pulling out guns or women and babies, hmm. pregnant women. Killing them, throwing them on the ground, beating the shit out of them like they're a dude. A man is doing this to a woman. Because it's filming it. Not doing nothing about it. Oh shit, that's not me, but I'm going to film it. How about get away with that? Mm. 
How about you see somebody film somebody getting their ass whooped? How about you punch them and then help the person that's getting their ass whooped? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when they wake up, the reason why you got knocked out is because you over here filming somebody getting hurt. How about that? How about do away with that? Mm-hmm. See, stuff like that, so, that shit is corny. So, I don't like that. Yeah, no, I'm, so, I'm, so, not, I'm not so, feeling that. Yeah, it's so not basic, no. Yeah, it's no, a no. It's a no. So I have to agree for the it's genius corny. of no it's segment. Corny. It's a no. It's corny. Because, first of all, it's not even I, funny. It's not even it, funny. It's corny. It's very corny. It's whack. Because black think men it's don't cheat. And, and I'm not. you stamping the black man again. Yeah, some, some, some men, which I was seeing on social media, that they rock. They rock with that shit. They really rock with that hashtag black men don't cheat. You know what I'm saying? Um, and here's the thing men out there riding for that shit. It's the a ones pole, that's really riding for that shit is the, the biggest fucking cheaters probably. And Listen. then you helping, you actually just helping Charlemagne and Lou Duvall sell records. You know what I'm saying? That's all you doing. Like you getting they streaming up. You know what I mean? Because the more and more they talk about it, because right. if you notice Lou Duvall on Instagram account, everything is geared at. Now, he's a comedian. And right. an artist. Absolutely. So That's not how can you really take them serious That's about not a problem. You know okay, saying? that is funny. But like I said, when you have a platform, a big enough platform than Hood Jesus, when you have a platform like that to talk about those type of things that's really going on, where's the protection? Fuck black men don't cheat. Where's the protection of the women? Our babies. Yeah. You sent me that what? uh that, that video of the cop. Pulled a gun out on a woman holding her baby and telling her to put her effing baby on the ground. She telling the cop, my baby can't walk. My baby is a baby, an infant. He like, I don't care. You heard what that guy said? Put the baby on the ground. She like, the hot ground? Put my baby on the hot ground? Yeah, that video Make a awful. song about that. Make a song about we need to protect our women and our children. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. That's why I said I can't Come take... Come on, now. That's why I Miss said that, it. That, that hashtag move, it is corny, and I can't take it serious. Because, no, you can't. Because, like, it's that ain't even... That's not... In this day and age, right now, we don't need this to be something that no, y'all not. get behind. Listen, I'm telling you, we're going... You know I mean? We're going backwards with that. I'm telling you, I feel like the Jim Crow, damn near, but in a different way, a whole nother Jim Crow has surfaced. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, but yeah, come on, that's a, yeah, that's another so. topic. But that's crazy. No, yeah. That's definitely a, a hell no for me. Yeah, definitely. Come on, I'm disappointed. So, I'm disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, you did good with smile. I'm living up. You know, was, I, that was awesome. Yeah. Because it really, you know, it was uplifting. Like somebody around you, like, oh, get away from me with that negative energy. You know, yeah, I'm good. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Smile, you know, smile, you, bitch. You yeah. know, like I'm, I'm just still devastated with uh, what's the boy um that um they hitting colors. Oh shit! Um, <laughs> I had boy that. Tyreek. Yeah, what was the yeah. name of that song? Yeah, he got a group. He actually got a music group. Yeah, he got a whole music group where he's singing and, you and up shit. You know, like Public Enemy on Hidden Colors, right? Yeah. So you look at him and you like, yo, is this nigga Very official? Kind of, yeah, it's, you know it's what I'm saying? Because it's like, are you? Which one are you, my man? Like you, you straddling both sides. <laughs> And he had done uh, several interviews, and he was like, yo, y'all act like I only got one type of interest. You know what I'm saying? He said, I could do documentaries about our history, and I could do this, but, like, it looked crazy. It's like you saying, I worship the devil, but I believe in God. I love God. Hold up. Yeah, you chasing to be Hold an up. artist to Hold sell up. records. You're the fence. You can't. Yeah. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. Do you want to educate and uplift? Or do you want to try to offense and say, well, listen, I'm going to downgrade the black woman, this and that, but then we're here, and I'm like, she's a queen, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Can you imagine? I worship the devil. Yeah. I love the devil. I love God. Shit crazy. Can you imagine back in the day, Martin Luther King? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> Martin Luther the King? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we good. <laughs> wait a minute. Martin Luther, Martin Luther the King? Miss Dr. King. Please. <laughs> Please Can you imagine Dr. King out here giving these great speeches and then on the weekend on tour, on tour singing, bitch, where my money at? You know what I'm saying? Like, can you imagine that? Like, this, this, people, <laughs> people may think that my way of thinking is extreme, but I'm just he, saying, he, though. He in the pimp contest walking down with his pimp hat. Yeah. Hey, better have like, my money. Yeah, people be frauding, yo. Yeah. You'll be out here fraud. So you like, a deacon, but you a pimp on a... Yeah, like, it, it, and 
It's crazy. And then you know Tyreek was a pimp, though. Yeah, and that's, it's funny you brought that up. Yeah, he was he was on some pimp shit before he transitioned. Yeah, so you yeah, know another whole so another. You know what? Here's his he got true. books and shit on that. This is where you gotta be careful with the false prophets. Yeah, the not, false, not and not no, even no. to try to put him on. No, that it's, type. it's not. It's not. It's not wrong. That's why when you get the stereotype of black people will accept information from another race more than their own because mm-hmm. of things like that. Mm. Like how you a Pippin Memphis, then you want to come over here to Philly. And be on a fight the power of public enemy type, Marcus Garvey, yeah, KRS one, and then you move to another state. Now you, you know, you went you into a pimp contest, yeah, and then in another state, you you, you all over the place. Well, so the, how is somebody supposed to take you serious and you try to you educate right. them on their history? You right, you right. How can you do Cause, that? Because on his Instagram and his Twitter account, all he do all day long is post with. You know, the government is doing to our people, right. posting history, this and that. But then on the side, you, you, you're a singer and you promote. <laughs> if you want to be, music. if you want to be a it's dominant, crazy, a dominant prophet to educate and uplift and unify your people, you cannot straddle the fence because we are already, already mentally chained, mentally abused, mentally effed up. Yeah, just keep it one hundred. So you cannot, you cannot, we are conditioned, conditioned to think the worst of ourselves anyway, because that's what was taught, mm-hmm. you know, you do the, through years, through centuries. Mm-hmm. That's why it's best to self-educate yourself, self-educate. It's okay to listen to other people and get some information, but always go back and do your own research, do your own whatever yeah. to get a fair understanding. You know, because you can tell me the sky blue, but I'm still gonna go look it up. Like, all right, why the sky blue? Yeah, sky blue. And as you should, you should people do can that. tell you anything. People can tell you know what, you know what, you really purple, and, and I can't make this <laughs> and, shit and up. You, be you like, really purple, you know what? Like, ooh, you know what? I am purple. I am purple because when I was walking in the street one day and I stopped <laughs> in the mirror and I looked, I was like, damn, I look purple. <laughs> Boo, it was a rainbow. Yeah, they had the yeah. And you seriously? Yeah. You don't want to be that dumb. You just don't. But, you just want to always be on top of the game. Like, you just, it's too yeah. much out here for you to say, I don't know, or come on in. Yeah. You know, whether I'm drinking, whatever. Whatever. Like, I'm I, Lewis, I'm still being too numb. I'm not perfect. I'm None not of us perfect. are. I'm not perfect. Yeah. But I know when I get so down that I need to remove myself because I don't want this energy to leap on nobody else. I need to get myself together. So I say to myself... And I'm like, you know what, let me get myself together because I'm not in no condition right now. And I don't like to be around and be taking nothing out of nobody because nobody did it to me. I'm going through this. I'm mm-hmm. going through the storm. And I don't want to be a storm nobody else. You always should want to be a pleasant day. Let's yeah. look at it like that. A pleasant day. Who wants a storm around a storm? That's a catastrophe. Sure is. You know what I'm saying? Like when I feel you going to do something and I'm good. I don't think I'm better than you, but shit, I just came out of a storm. I just got dried off. I just put on, you know, dry clothes. I'm good. I'm going to pray for you. Yeah. But I cannot be around your storm because you got to learn how to wither out of that yourself. Because sometimes people put themselves in their own storm. That's fact. Unnecessary. Because you up here trying to be a, a saver person. Oh, I'm blowing, I'm blowing, I'm, I'm. No, nah, sometimes, listen. People have to fight their own battles sometimes in different situations. I'm not talking about where you can't really help somebody. I'm talking about on another level. Mm. Like karma. Like you know Karma's this person. Real. You know this person ain't right, always doing something. And you may think that you're a good person because you always giving, you always supporting, but you got a wicked spirit. You all you, you got a wicked spirit. You have to go above and beyond and buy it. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I always look out. I always look out. Every time you always treat me. But you got a wicked spirit. You got a wicked heart. You see what I'm saying? You're trying to cover that up. It's like a little snake, a serpent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, pretty skin. Come yeah. up real smooth. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? You wicked. Yeah. But it's like the glorification. It's like, oh, wow. You you look nice. You pretty. You handsome. But you got a wicked spirit. Mm. So sometimes you got to let people. Worse. You got to be like, yo, I'm good. Like, I. 
mm, am I mm. feeling it? You know, I'm sorry you're going through this, but I ain't, because that's, that's karma. Mm-hmm. You got to let people do what they think. Yeah. Go through, you know, because then at the end of the day, you never know what that person might be over their chain. Listen. No, no. Oh, shit. I hope this shit go over there. I hope this go over there. I hope they catch what yeah. I'm going through. Next yeah. thing you know, you like. shit real. Hey, wait, I was good for a second. Hey, I can't. Dang. Yeah, them spirits is real. I can't shake this. What's going on? Mm-hmm. The company you keep. Mm-hmm. Now you done picked up whatever the hell they going through because now karma is missing them and coming over to you and hitting people that you love. Yeah. Sometimes you got to learn to back away and get the hell out of the way of karma. That's fact. Yeah. Vicious, vicious cycle. Yeah. Vicious cycle. Yeah, so we're going to get uh, this week into the news. I'm going to start off with the sedan crisis. Mm-hmm. Slash massacre um, is reported in just three days of the Sedan massacre. 113 killed, 723 injured, 650 arrested, 48 women raped, six men raped, and a thousand people missing. Um, I want to, you know, well, we both want to send prayers over there to the families. And this that is lost news that you do ones. not get. This is news that you do not get. Yeah. On and, it, and it's time to talk about it. Um, I went and read up on it. I had to go on BBC News because I don't just trust our news. I had to go out to you know a uh, uh, media that's outside our country, and I was just reading up on it. And basically, I don't know how much knowledge you have about this story, Lady T. But what I read up on it is the people. Um, they protested to get the president out of office. He'd been office. He'd been in all president for thirty years. Um, sorry, I don't know his name, but y'all can look this up, stuff up too. I'm just summarizing the story of what I've read. So they went in with the military, the um, the protesters, to get this guy out of office. They got him out of office. So they wanted to vote one of the fair person that the people of Sudan was rocking with and they was going back and forth meeting with the military and you know the military ended up getting they getting who they wanted in there and it was that 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 deal that wasn't supposed to happen so the right. protesters made them angrier mm-hmm. you know because here they had this guy that that was there for 30 years and then you ain't get nobody in there that's for the people Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be for the people in the military didn't do it and then they ended up just killing going on a killing spree um the military mm-hmm. so that's what's going on over there yeah, you know it's what? really sad it's, it's history repeats itself because remember that movie that forest whitaker what was the name of that movie i want y'all help me out there help me out out there what was it about it was that's the same right. what you just talked about forest whitaker was in it forest whitaker was in it Damn. And he was vicious. He had all those wives. And, I mean, the military was off the chain. Mm-hmm. Um, it was another movie, too, with um, Bruce Willis. The Sun. Tears of the Sun. Tears of the Sun. Yeah, this is what that that's sounds a good like. movie. This is what that sounds like. Mm-hmm. You know, they was cutting the breasts off of the women so they could mm. breastfeed their babies. This is what it sounds like. Yeah. This is what it sounds like. Like, that is just, it's just really horrible. Yeah, it goes down in the other countries. It really and, does. And, um, you know, my daughter, she asked me about this. We was talking about this. And it, it's just funny to me. Like, she really be in tune with what's mm-hmm. going on in the world. Like You have to be. And, it, and it, you know, she's 14. But I didn't think that she had no interest. But she really be having interest, interest in world news and what's going on in the world. And she like, damn, that what? Well, not damn. She like that. It was wow. I hope, I hope she didn't say damn, damn. Look, damn, damn. What's going on out here? Damn. Yeah. But I seen it, the way she asked. I seen it in her face like she really empathy. Yeah, you know. And I was just breaking down to her like it's a difference between our governments and these governments um, in these other countries, mm-hmm. where a lot of times these governments in other countries are really ruled by the military. Mm-hmm. The general really is the president. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. you got to you gotta think about that. Mm-hmm. Your president is somebody that's from the military. So but here's the thing, though. What he going to be on? I know it can't be this simple, but you and me, right? Mm-hmm. We over there. We both like, you're crazy. Mm-hmm. You want me to 
cut the breasts off of a woman so she can't breastfeed her baby. You gotta go. Facts. You can never give that person a person that much power. You can never give a person that much power. You know what's wrong, but you still gonna do what they say about you. Nigga, you want listen, I'm gonna take hundreds off before you take me out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make a stand. Somebody has to make a stand. This one person blow that nigga head, blow his brains out. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but you know all that stuff be tied to money. You know what I'm saying? Money, money and politics. Money is good or evil, but you know are mean? you kidding me? That could be your mother. That could be your wife. That could be your daughter. So you telling me this fool, the head person in the military, mm-hmm. he's sitting there one day because they be drinking. Yeah. Getting high, whatever the hell. And he, and he says, you know what? Getting twirlies. We are going to kill our, our whole our whole community. We're going to kill our whole community. And you sitting there like, our community, shit, that's my mom, my grandma, my... And you're going to... No, those to... bars. We're going to kill everybody. Yeah, you're supposed are you to let that ride. you supposed to let that ride? Get the fuck out of here. Because yeah. of money? And, and, and being scared. Being scared of what? You know what I mean? When you scared, what you going to do? Try off somebody, right? So you won't be scared no more, right? You should be like that. That should be your mentality. Yeah. So you mean tell me, I got to go in my community and kill my mom, my wife, my kids? Yeah, that's why I could never be part of the military, yo. Because at some point, you're going to be faced with some type of decision Before like that. Before you take me out, I'm going to take I mean? out. Yeah. We, we going together. We going together. We 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 go look. Let's hold hands. We going we go we going on this journey together. Now. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. <laughs> we going together. Yeah. Cause there's no way in the world you gonna tell me I personally, and this is my orders from you. Mm-hmm. I had to go in my house and kill my mom, kill my kids to please you. Who who for you? Who are you? Who are you? She crazy. Yo. That is crazy. When I watch these movies and I see that, I'm like, damn. But you gotta think about it. it's a whole different kind of conditioning over there. You know what I'm saying? You, Listen, let me tell you something. Over here, you saw my condition that you put in here, a condition of the mind. Could, I just had to lighten it up. I had uh, to lighten it up because of, yeah, we, I started. We, yeah, yeah. we go to the I, next I had to story. Like, please, you please. sent me this story. This next story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next story in the news: um, Nas, Nasir Jones, mm-hmm. and Will Smith. Yes. Invest in a mobile app to help teams gain financial literacy. Absolutely. And I think this is super dope. The startup company behind the app is called Step. And the two celebrities participated in a funding found funding a round of twenty two point five million. Um this is really dope. Um basically this is an app. That'll be for your teens. Mm-hmm. And it'll provide them uh, a way to learn about financial things like credit cards, banking, you know. And I'm sure they'll be able to open up an account, Absolutely. you know. Absolutely. Uh, and I think that's as really as needed. St- because as soon as they earn income. Yeah. Meaning like when, they, when they're when they young and they're able to get their working papers at the age of 14. Mm-hmm. Philadelphia. Oh, it's 14? 14? Oh, sorry, 14. Time to Listen. work. Listen, what I read birthday as soon as our birthday hit, we was down there getting her working papers. Oh bet. So as They open they opened during the summer? Or Saturdays. Saturdays? Saturdays okay. You go ahead and get your working papers. Bet. Thanks. As soon as they're starting to earn income, they can open up either a traditional IRA or a Roth RA. And that's what I'm learning. Yeah. Yes. As soon as they that, earn that, income. And, and those a, two are that, already operated that's with a earn nice, income. That's a nice plug right there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Lady T been work well. Oh, absolutely. Y'all Listen, find out later. You'll find out later yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. I've been, you know, I'm grinding. I'm doing thing. my thing. I'm with the class Saturday and Sunday. And yeah. I'm here. Like, y'all, y'all going to find out. Yeah, we'll definitely find out because I'm going to spread. I'm going to spread the education. I'm going to spread the knowledge. I'm going to spread it because that's how, like, mm-hmm. I get my blessings because when you withhold knowledge and you withhold information that can help the next person, you selfish. You selfish because something, a little piece of information that can help the next person can greatly, greatly help them. Yeah. Get them out of the situation that they're in, the storm they're going through. Yeah. It could be the littlest piece of information to help somebody clear that storm up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And, yep. You know how it go. Absolutely. But on, on to the next 
Um, news topic. What the fuck is going on in Dominican Republic, yo? They oh. killing like yo, they killing Americans left, right, and this ain't funny, but no, it's not. like yo, it's almost like they doing some biochemical warfare shit, mm-hmm. fucking with the drinks and fucking with the food and the water system over there. It's like they purposely. I don't know. Well, let me ask you something. Do Puerto mis- Rico still have... Do they, they, they still without electricity, right? Puerto Rico? Shit, that's part of America. I know, but are they yeah. still... My question, are they still without right. electricity? I think part, some parts of it is. Okay. You know what I mean? But you got to think... You know, I was thinking about this story, right? Because it says the seventh American dies from mysterious condition during uh, his DR vacation. And I was just thinking like, yo, like, you think this shit tied to like Donald Trump and all the... Racism and shit going on. They like, yo, you know what it's all the to? Americans that come through here, we gonna fuck. We got no, no, something no. for them. What are they? Some of them. What are you coming through for? Because not all of them are dying. True. What are you coming through for? Are you coming through to mess with people that are less fortunate to do things? Because you know what's things set up for mm. people to have like real crazy, you know, fantasies. Mm, you're right. So you coming over here in our country to get off because we're less fortunate. In certain areas, mm. so you think you wanna, cause you got money. Got a point there. So it could be that it yeah. could be you know you coming yeah, over here it, with yeah. this crazy ass family. Yeah. They don't make these movies for no I, reason. I what see was what you're saying. Movie? What was that movie? Which movie? Where they it was like some country London or something like that, and they had some crazy fantasy to torture people. Yo, I don't know. Like they was you know, you come over I know here, what you're talking about. It was like auctioning off people. Yeah, I know what you're hostile, talking about. Hostile. hostile. Them hostile. drones is crazy. It's like a they, no, part no, no, one and part was, two and all. It was crazy, but where the it's hell real. you get that from? Yeah, where do you get that real. from? Yeah. That's what they said. When you go to these different countries, you better not leave the resort. You better not you better not go off. You meet somebody cool because you never make it back. Yeah. You know what's crazy though? Um it goes down in DR because I've I've been to DR twice. Mm-hmm. But every time we went, we didn't go to the resort area. We didn't go to like the Punta Cante or whatever. We was really going amongst the uh the people. You know, you were seeing the real the people. Yeah. And I will say, um well I've never been on a I heard about people being on a resort. Mm. It's a little bit different. Because like once you be amongst the, the real people and you nice and you genuine but here's the they thing. They fuck with you. Y'all was you know in a group, saying? though. Y'all was in a group. It yeah. wasn't oh, just it could you. be dangerous you by yourself. Listen, Definitely. it wasn't you just like, you know what? Listen, I'm yeah. drunk as a skunk and then you just going to wind off. Oh, no, no, no. You, you was in a group. You, you tripping for doing the that. The more, the merrier, like, okay, you know, it's too yeah. many witnesses. Yeah. And we going to have to do a lot to, you know, a lot more people. Mm-hmm. Whereas though it was just one or two, mm-hmm. it's less witnesses. So, you know, it's you can do that. You right. You know what I'm saying? But the same news that they see about us, we see about them. So it could be like trickery of the mind. Mm. Like, okay, they got money. Yeah. Depends on what type of you know news they get. Yeah. You right. You right. You have to chop them up because they crazy. Yeah, you got a point there. Because you know, somebody got their arm chopped up, but they were still shooting. The media. The you media know, is crazy. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to cut both their legs off and. Glue they 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 arm on their neck like crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are gonna get into the topic. Absolutely. You know, um, fake it to make it is the topic of this week, and y'all know what it is. the The title says is is but pretty the much. Title, like I said, it is it is self explanatory, yeah. but it can be tricky. It yeah. can be tricky because you could be like, you know, oh, well, you faking it. Like, people are already assume like, all right, you faking, you got on this, you got on that, but you really faking it and you really not making it. No, I'm talking about the kind of faking meaning that going through shit and pretty much that trying to keep that smile on my face even though the storm is wiggling me down. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I mean, my phone, yeah, my phone's dying. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all. Oh. But, um,. But, you know, just, you know, you're going through something and you're just really trying to keep that smile on your face. You, 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 mm-hmm. You're trying to stay strong. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you're trying to keep your spirit up. You, you're still trying to, like, go. Go full force. Yeah. You know, but you really, like, you like I said, you want to cry. You want to scream. You want to say, why me? Damn. Why can't I catch a break? But I got I to gotta keep the smile on my face. I got to. 
tap dance. You know what I'm saying? I got to yeah. make, make it. So, would you say um, some of the most successful people probably just fake it to make it? Absolutely. Because that's what all eyes yeah. on you when you reach a certain level. Yeah. Yeah. Like they they, they, they right. think that you can't have a breakdown. Like, you can't cry. Like, you a robot. Like, you perfect. Yeah. You perfect. Because you had this level of success. You made it. No, that's not what happens. You're human. You're a human. You're a human being. You're not a robot. Yeah. You have emotions. You go through stuff. You have breakdowns. Let me tell you, it was so bad the other day. I was in the car talking to myself. I looked over. This person was looking at me like, damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then I was there to damn. myself. Damn. Yo. Yeah, so I, cause I had the windows down. So I'm over there really having a conversation, a whole conversation, ready or not or nothing. I looked over, I said, wait, hold up. I said, Yo. Uh, uh, I was just look at it. Oh. The car, they like, damn. Like damn. a damn Muppet. Damn, like, damn, yo, that's vicious. I was like, how you doing? How you yeah. doing? Yeah. Yeah, that's vicious. Go on to, listen, go on yeah. the thing, man. Go through shit. You man, right. That's real, that's, talk, that's real like, talk right somebody there. Somebody tell me, man, I don't go through nothing. Everything's great. Everything great. You a no, damn liar. No. You a damn liar. You ain't being real with yourself. No, you're not being real. You know you're not mean? being real. You know, I, I think um, that's I, sometimes for me. That's hard, mm-hmm. you know, the the whole fake it to make it thing. And it should it might hold me back from certain shit, but like maybe there's something I gotta work on. But you know, sometimes, you know, like when you in job settings, they want you to be smiling like eight, ten hours. You know, you know what I'm why? saying? You know why? And it's like, yo, everything ain't nothing to fucking smile about. Not like to cut you off. Yeah. Would you like to walk into a doctor's office and a person like this? Would yeah. you want them to touch you? No, no, you're right. Would you want them to touch you? You're right. Would you want them to touch you? You're right. But you so, listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Would you want for somebody to be like, oh, how you doing? <laughs> um, Your me name such and such. Yo, me honestly, me, me myself, I don't give a fuck about that's that. You though, but that's yeah. not everybody. That's you. I get it. I but get it. But everybody's not you. What you gotta stand is individual, individual feeling, individual what they, what you go through. Yeah, you see I what get I'm saying? it. They so, want that experience at the end of the day, cause, cause they feeling sick. They feeling right. down. When a person is coming it. somewhere and they're sick, they don't want to. Shit, they already sick. They don't want to deal interact with somebody that's that. gloomy. Somebody is nasty and gloomy. Because yeah. they already gloomy. They already withered the storm. So yeah. why come in somewhere and somebody going through a storm? So now it's just a this is a catastrophe. Yeah. I'm sick. I'm dealing with shit. Now I come in here. You can't even smile, be pleasant. But here's the thing. What though. you here for? Yo, I agree with that. I ain't talking about that part. Uh, because I, I, I know. No. I know what you're talking about, but we're talking about faking it to make it. Yeah, but you even in, you walk in. But, but hold on, though. Even with your fucking coworkers, right? Like my whole thing is when you signed your contract. Did the contract say you had to be friends? Did you have to talk to your friends? Did you have to be born? Exactly. I love you. I love you. That's how I feel. Put that. You got to block. You got to put yeah. that blinder up. Keep smiling no matter what because you. It could be worse off. Yeah. It could be worse off. Yeah, but hold never on, let though. nobody, but, never let nobody energy jump hold on, off though, you. Because, and now you fall in. Now you don't let somebody trigger your mind. Now you, yeah. now you're weak. Now you a follower. But the problem I have is I'm not frowning. I'm just man. Do you I'm even look chilling. at yourself? Yo, I don't be frowning, yo. I really don't. I really don't be frowning. I don't be in a, a, a like I don't be in a negative you space of nothing. You I need be, to be recorded. You, know, you need to be recorded because you I like, hey, like, how you doing? What you here for? <laughs> Yeah. Now, if you can't, I'm telling you. I, I'm telling you. Hey. hey, how you doing? What you here for? How you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Hey, listen. I'm going to tell you, though. It's you certain times. You know I'm telling the truth. No, you, you tell the truth. Because I'm telling you, certain. I'm not only knocking you, I'm saying yeah. I do it too. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I, listen, they tell me, listen, usually smiling. And I tell them, listen, listen, I'm going through it. And they're That's like, you know, don't we talk? And at the end of the day, they still like they come back because it's like, damn, she's human. Yeah, yeah. I just sat there had tears I, in my eyes. Damn, yeah. Jumped up with, crying with the, like, listen, uh, with the clients, patient, man, the, yeah. right? They like, wait a minute, you That's good? Real. We talking? Listen, yeah. I'm going through it. You, you have any advice for me? Hey. I'm human. I'm not no damn robot. I don't fake it like mm. with that to that extent. Now I'm thinking the other part, like when you saw me smile, I was faking that shit. I was really, I wanted to break down like I'm breaking down like right now. I'm breaking down. 
Listen, I'm going through a moment. You know this is not me. And this is how I say, this is what I talk. This is how I talk it. Like, I'm going through something right now. Mm. It's not easy. I can't sit up here and smile and fake it. Yeah. So faking it to make it to keep that that good energy, but you really dig down the side. You need to go somewhere and hibernate to get yourself together. But can you? You cannot. When you're the dominant breadwinner. Yeah. Yeah. So faking That's it to tough. make it. It's tough. That's like tough. listen. Or don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. I'm I'm this you know this is not me. You know I'm always joking, I'm you know, laughing and stuff like that. But right now I got my eyebrows was crossed. They touching. I'm upset. I'm going through something right now. You don't go through stuff? Yeah. But I got you. And through that conversation, now you see the little smile because I, I'm, I'm good now. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm talking it out. I'm, you know, I'm putting you in my, the real world. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, on, on to switch it a little bit, you know, you got some people in a dating world. Come on. Here we go. That fake it to make it. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. You know how Here you know go. how it go though. This like the fucking whole this era right. is the you got a bunch of kings and queens that's faking it to make it. <laughs> Starting from the eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. So now we talking about physical characteristics. No, you fake listen, that's part of dating. The whole social Wait thing. Wait a minute, that's not faking it to make it? Why ain't it? You, you mean like you going broke? You going broke to to have those physical? Yeah, characters you got niggas. You to got, make it seem like you really yeah, good, but you're not good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I see. What like, you're like, saying. like, 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 for instance, right? They posted a, um one of them IG whores, um, Aisha Di- Aisha Diaz, right? Okay, she's very pretty. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna show you the picture of her, right? But she posted something very disturbing this week, where she was saying that. She wanted to get uh, some work done to her breasts. Now her breasts, she already got work done to her breasts. They actually, her breasts is perfect, right? And she was saying on the post that she doesn't feel comfortable with, her, with herself. She loves getting work done. And she said she loves to see other people get work done and all this shit. And somebody had commented, it was like, damn, this, this sister don't even love herself. Right. You know, she could look... Because she looks gorgeous, Mm -hmm. but her way of thinking Mm -hmm. makes her look ugly to me now. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine. So she's faking it to make it because everything on her is fake. The way she fucking think is fucking fake. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Fake that's uh, that's jacked up. Yeah, what she's promoting. Mm -hmm. Because everything she's promoting, she's getting some fake shit to promote herself to get money. But just imagine all the other women that is so that thinks is that okay. looks up to her too. Yeah. First of all, I don't I don't understand how you even look up to somebody that believes in constantly injecting something in them that you can have it though. Long down the road, you have problems. People don't think about Tanya. longevity. People don't think about all right. Ten years from now, I made it like a bag of potatoes. Mm, you and know, sick. I may just want to. And dudge in a cheesesteak. I mean, I just made one dudge and some wings. I mean, I want to be a vegetarian no more. Now, it's weight. I'm picking up on weight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not getting the attention I used to get. So now, my financial status is going down. I can't afford the things I used to be able to afford. Personal trainers and all that. I don't feel like it no more. You probably going to do a mental whatever. Yeah. Now, you look like a bag of potatoes. Sick health-wise. Because people don't think about what you put in you. It's that you know giving you problems laid on down the you know the line help wise. Mm-hmm. So why not like embrace yourself? It's okay to have a bad hair day for women. Men, it's okay to have a a no a not so great haircut. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. What well, uh, for men not having a great haircut? Man, that's a problem. Well, you know no, what? No, 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 no. I don't know. No, Nowadays it's, it's different. It's, it's different. different. I, niggas, yeah, we are in different times yeah, today. You know. Niggas. They I remember care. making they they growing up around here. Listen, yeah. around here on a beam, niggas was but but, look, but that Smash. ain't even just around Listen. here. That's the era we I'm just, from. I'm just saying from Philly period. Philly period, right? We, I'm just saying from what I saw. My, you know, the, around that's here, what we was known for. Got style. Listen, clean cut. And I ain't talking about Fresh you got to get a name brand. I'm talking about you washed just your clean, ass yo. and you was Smell clean. Good. Smell good, like. You was on top of the, the, the latest cologne or the latest oil 
or you know what I'm saying, like the the, the different cuts or the yeah. different styles. Like you was on top of it, but it yeah. wasn't expensive. It wasn't like you know, like fresh sneaks, fresh cut. Yeah. You win. Yeah, people was they was Straight working up. for it. They Smell was working good, like fresh you know, cut. I gotta be on top of my appearance. Your clothes wasn't wrinkled. Mm-mm. You was matching. Listen, I remember. And this would turn me on. My brother ironed his clothes for half an hour. I'm talking about from nigga had major ironing creases. Ironing t-shirt, and no <laughs> lie, t-shirt, uh, pants, shirt. Yeah, I think he ironed his damn socks. God damn, he sound like my man Dez. Shout out Dez. Oh, shout Yo, out Yo, I'm gonna tell you what Dez used to do. Back in the day. Mm-hmm. This is the era we come from. We'd be like, yeah, we all round up. You know, it's a lot of, you know. But why you iron for a half an hour? Because you had this, you know what I mean? I'm going to tell you what dad used to do. The spray bottle? This going to really be like, you be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dad's will be on his fucking t-shirt and shorts for half an hour. Half an hour. Guess what? What? We wasn't going to see chicks. We're going to run ball. He like, yo, all my clothes got to be ironed. I ain't stepping out wrinkled. He like, I he want to look fresh. Up. He must have kept it everywhere. You know, grandma <laughs> said, never go out here with holes in your socks. Yeah. Holes in your socks. You never do it. Like, in my car. When it came people to, in the hospital the court, in the we'll talk about you, though. That's like, true. You up on I that remember table. that saying. My mom used to say that. Like, did we watch these yeah, you got holes, holes in your drawers. Holes in your drawers. Yeah, don't embarrass me. Even though the fur coat ate up the damn drawers on your t-shirt. Not moths. The fur coats. Fur coats, man. Draws and fur shit. Fur coats, man, listen. They eating cotton. Listen, shit. they had to constantly chew because if not, their teeth was at rest. Yeah, you told me. Mice or rats, they had to constantly chew. You told me that. Because their teeth would go through their mouth. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. crazy. Mm-hmm. Damn, we That's talking about all types of shit, yo. You got to be with the research. animal kingdom on this motherfucker <laughs> on this job, yo. Yo, that'd be crazy. I have a fur coat sitting in the middle of us, right? That That's me getting over my, you know, my fear. Uh, you had an edible or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm joking. I had okay. Chuck E. Cheese up here. I didn't like him when I was younger. I didn't either. Who did? Yeah, I, didn't, I don't like mice. He's a, he's, he's a dead guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when you think about so it. that's me getting over it. Because when I used to take the Chuck E. Cheese and he come outside, room. guess who was outside the door? Yeah. As I read my day, where, 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 where would I be at? Oh, man. Outside the door. Or Chuck E. going around and giving out tickets. Oh, shit. What? Yo. I don't do fur coats. Yeah, that shit. So that would be, you know, you know, Animal Kingdom one day we have an episode we had chicken cheese sitting in the middle. I'm like this, I'll be on this side though. I wouldn't even be in the interview. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah. so who's giving out tickets? Yeah, that's just yeah. like the clown shit. That yeah. Oh man. I don't trust clowns. I don't trust them. Y'all don't like the way he look. You don't like the way he look? Yeah. What about some Might be psychological though? shit. I know, right? <laughs> Yo, how about this? Some people you know, <laughs> oh man, Yo, that's that's some people you know clams. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Got yeah. a whole circus. Yeah, you right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You right about that shit. But um, you know, wrap things up. Wrap it up. Yeah. So, like, you know, I just wanted to, you know, emphasize on about the whole difference of faking it to make it, not faking it material wise or character yeah. character wise. We're talking about. Your appearance. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about inside. Yeah. You know, when when you when you're dealing with things and listen, it's okay to ask for help. Mm-hmm. It took me so long to really put my pride aside and say, "Damn, you know what? I want to. I'm ask, I'm start asking for help, and I don't care what the outcome can be, because me honestly, I don't like to hear what I've asked for. Yeah. Like, yeah, I do eventually. You know what I'm saying? People, mm-hmm. you know, like to. It's like. They like for somebody to ask them for help so they can put their business out there. Damn. Yeah. This is like you looking down on somebody, but guess what? The same person that helped you, you never know when you might need help. That's fact. So always be humble, and no matter what you do, because you never know. Like you could be on a high horse one day, you could be down there, you know, trying not to get stamped by the stumbled by the horse. Yeah. So it could work either way. Yeah. You so know? so all in all, is <clears throat> sometimes you. You have to do a good job of holding in mm-hmm. what you're going through Sometimes. and still, you know, Sometimes. try to remain professional right. if you're on your job. You know it's, not I mean? it's not healthy. It's not healthy to and, let it, to keep it all in. It's not healthy to yeah. keep it all in. Yeah, it's not, you know, because at some point you're going, it's going to have to come out. Even that know? stigma with men is, is men not supposed to cry. Listen, I don't want to be with nobody that, that don't cry. 
Yeah. There's something wrong with you. That's you true. don't share your emotions. You never cry. Like, I never tell my sons not to cry. Yeah, because... You, you might, got a broken leg. You're not supposed to cry because you're a boy. Yeah, you might have some Michael Myers. Motherfucker. Uh, motherfucker not crying. Some <laughs> you know type of emotions. Yeah, you got to show yeah. some type of emotion. Absolutely. You know what I mean? At some point. Absolutely. But, yeah, we can wrap this up. So, y'all know how we like to do things and things, right? Mm-hmm. Dream, Dream hard. hard. Don't yeah. sleep forever. Peace. Peace. You, you, you are now an official hood genius. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Y'all know what to do. Hit that follow button.